Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, <clears throat> I've got a beer here from the Goffs Brewery, Cotswold Brewery, it's their Jouster. Um, I have had uh, a few beers from Goffs before at um, beer festivals, but um, can't remember them. Um, as always at beer festivals, I just tend to um, drink quite a bit and get a little bit to, uh, you get the idea. Uh, brown 500ml bottle anyway. Um, plain silver crown on the top there. Uh, it's a 4% ABV. Um, don't know much about this beer. Um, don't know anything about this beer to be honest. But, as always, I shall read it in a moment. There's the crown there, just with the date on it. Uh, didn't see if there was any smoke on the opening because I was messing around with the crown. So I've moved a bit over a bit because the sun is shining right in my eyes so um, I can't see anything. Get it in the glass. I am really loving my bitters at the moment. They're just so refreshing. And that is copper in colour. Nice bit of swirling carbonation. A very a small bit of carbonation in there. Tiny, not even half a finger, just off white head. Don't know whether this beer is bottle conditioned or not. Seems to be a decent bit of condition in there for the lacing. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I don't think it is bottle conditioned. Some very clean glass of beer, this. Very clean indeed. Let's get the nose in. Oh, yes. Now, if you've seen my reviews before, um, you know, I. I I've got this thing about the Thomas Watkin Brewery. That's a Thomas Watkin smell in there. Oh, Jesus. There's so many bitters that I've reviewed lately have got this sort of smell to them. It's kind of like a sweet, floral, um, orangey sort of flavour. This one is more citrusy orange though as opposed to sweet orange. There is a sweetness in it, but it's not like uh, in with the orange. That is just so, it's sort of like orangey floral. That's lovely. I've got to dig into this. It smells so clean as well. It's just so good. <clears throat> Pardon me. This one's a little bit more bitter um, than the. I just reviewed the. Um, oh, I'm terrible. Strode, Strode Brewery's. Um, um, can't remember, it's gone. My memory's appalling. This is more bitter. You get a decent bit of carbonation straight away, but not too much. Um, and it's sort of like a, a that, that bitter orange, not that sharp orange. You can taste that, and it's, it's, it's it, once again it's a nice dry mouth feel on this beer. Slightly sticky after after uh, taste sort of in your mouth. That is very good. Let's get the rest in. It's because the weather's warming up now. And you know, bitters like this, golden nails, and what have you, they just go down so well. <coughs> you know, you can session them. I do like my IPAs, my strong, powerful American style IPAs, and my dark porters. Sorry, I'm trying to move out of the way of the sun, it's shining right at me. But when the weather warms up, you want something with a little bit more refresh. Well, I want something with a little bit more refreshment, and golden nails. And bitters really do do that job very well. Uh, Jouster, 
Goff's Cotswold Brewery. So a lovely picture on there of the um, sort of knight on his horse. Fantastic. Like all Goff's traditional beers, Jouster has been brewed using only natural local ingredients. Love that. Love all that local natural ingredients. Uh, more breweries, you know, well, a lot of them do, but you know, that's what we need. Allergy advice contains malty barley and wheat, best before 500 ml. Uh, just a load about the drinking alcohol responsibly. A tawny coloured fruity ale with a light hoppiness in the aroma. Brewed in the Cotswolds to a traditional Goff family recipe, twice voted one of Camera's champion beers in Britain and win winner of numerous regional awards. Jerry's is best served lightly chilled. I haven't slightly chilled this because I like my beers at room temperature. Goss Brewery Limited, 9 Isbourne Way, Winchcombe, Gloucestershire. Uh, Winchcombe, that's up by Cheltenham. www.goffsbrewery.com. Um, yeah, very good. Very good beer, not disappointing. Once again, no head on it. Head's dissipated completely. Still a slight bit of bubble, a few bubbles on the side. I do like a head on a beer, um, but it doesn't ruin the drink. Yeah, you know, it's not, it's, it doesn't ruin it. You know, it's all in the flavor. I just like it. I just like the head on there just to give it a bit of creaminess, but. Wouldn't put me off drinking it. Yeah, when it says fruity, I think the fruit the fruit in this is definitely orange. Once again, maybe it's not grapefruit. It's so a sort of half drink smell there. Hang on. <laughs> I know it's pretty big, my nose, but <laughs> I can't get it in far enough. No, it's just it's just orangey. Nice, juicy, citrusy orange. And floral. That is slipping down. Massively sessionable beer. Massively. Oh, such, that is, I love that. Really like that. I think that, um, that's gonna get the same as the Stroud Brewery. That's gonna get an eight out of 10. Um, Cause I'd definitely buy that again. I'd love to try it on cask and session it. Well done, Goffs. Um, I can remember liking your other beers, or their other beers, um, in the beer festivals, but I just can't remember them. Um, no, but um, very good, very good. Go out and try it. Brilliant. Worth definitely worth getting on with that on the Goffs Jouster. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the co in the comments box. Always try and answer your comments, and um, I'll see you on the next view. Cheers.